We're almost to the end of 2020 and I'm still dreaming of and planning for whenever my next trip will be. I thought it would be fun to make a video today to share some of my favorite travel essentials. These aren't necessarily essential for everyone, but these are some of the things that have had a big impact on making my travel experience a more positive one. Huge thanks to Pact for sponsoring today's video. They are still running their holiday sale right now, so if you wanna catch some of their awesome travel gear, it's all 25% off right now and I have a coupon code in the description for an extra 5% off. Starting off with the first item and that is the backpack itself. This is the Pact Travel Backpack. They launched it earlier this year in collaboration with Chase Reeves. He's another awesome YouTuber. I would highly recommend you check out if you haven't before, but this thing is awesome. I did a full review on it earlier this year, so I'll be sure to link to that if you're interested in learning more about it, but just a really nice high quality, high capacity travel bag that looks and feels great. Not only are the backpacks durable, but they have a lifetime warranty and starting next year they are operating their business carbon neutral. So it's always nice to see recycled materials and a little bit more environmental consciousness when producing products. Moving on to the next item. <laughs> We have my Hydro Flask. You all know I talk about this thing all the time. I'm a big fan. I also love that it's made in Oregon. It's been crazy to see the company blow up in popularity so much over the past few years. They definitely deserve it. The water bottles are very, very high quality. They come in all sorts of different sizes. They have a few different lid options as well. I have the 32 ounce wide mouth bottle. Uh, I love this thing. I think the capacity is really nice because it's enough water for me even for longer term flights. I typically like to take this to the airport with me empty and then after I get through security I will fill it up at a drinking fountain. It saves some plastic and not buying a bottle while you're at the airport and you just get to reuse it over and over again and it's going to keep your drinks a little bit colder as well if you have access to ice. All right getting into the rest of the bag. First up, I have a little bit of a different one. This is a Trekology inflatable pillow. I bought this thing for backpacking towards the end of last year, beginning of this year. I can't remember exactly. I'm not normally someone that would travel with a pillow, but I think this would be a really good option for a lot of people that might be traveling on really long flights or potentially traveling to a place that might not have access to good pillows to sleep on. It only weighs like 50 or 60 grams and obviously fits into this little tiny stuff sack. Uh, this is something I definitely plan to bring with me on some of my couch surfing adventures going back to Michigan. Up next, I have a few tech items, but before that, I actually wanted to talk about the pouch itself. This is a new tech pouch from Moment Travel Wear. It was part of their launch earlier this year. I've never been much of a tech pouch user, usually opting for the organization within the bag itself, but if you're you're someone that does a lot of moving around when you're traveling, it is nice just to have everything all laid out in one single area. This has also been a little bit more convenient for the travel itself, being able to pull this out while you're on a plane or something makes things much easier on yourself to locate and find all of your tech easily without having to keep your big bag at your feet during the whole flight. All of the materials in the pouch feel really great. You have some nice elastic holders similar to the Gridit organizers if you're familiar with that, but just really great attention to detail on the stitching, really great materials. I love the size. It's not too big, but not too small. I've overall been really happy with this thing. Moving into the next item though, that is this little thing. It's about the size of a credit card and it's actually a little kickstand for your phone. This was something I've actually spent an embarrassing amount of time researching. I like being able to prop my phone up while I'm on a flight to be able to watch movies or TV. You know, so I have my hands free if I'm drinking or snacking. I know there's not too much of that now with the uh, the masks on the airplanes, but this is something that can be really useful for the long term and I was happy that I finally found a good option that is nice and compact to travel with me. I've tried a few different options before this and none of them were very successful. I tried building my own kickstand out of a business card. I tried that little foldy airport bender holder that you might have seen on Amazon. I forgot what it's called. Uh, none of those really worked that well for me and uh, this thing seems like it's going to hold up and work for a long time. And like I said, I just love the compact form factor. It just fits really nice and small. You could even stick it in your wallet if you wanted to instead of into your travel bag. 
Next up, we have AirPods. I have been in love with my AirPods since I got them as a gift uh, just a little over three years ago, I think now. And I wanted to make the case for wireless earbuds more so than specifically AirPods. You know, if you have Apple products, obviously the AirPods are great, but this is something, you know, most of the major manufacturers now have some sort of small wireless earbud. And I think you should really give them a try over your big bulky over ear ANC headphones. I'm um, sure you get better noise canceling with those things, but they're just so big and bulky. Sometimes if I'm going to a single destination, I'm going to be staying there long-term. It's not as big of a deal to carry some of that extra bulky stuff, but for quick travel, um, nothing beats just the compact size they fit in your hand compared to those big bulky headphones. Uh, these sound great. I've had no issues with the battery life. A lot of people talk about the longevity of these. Three years old, still going very strong for me. And uh, they have the AirPods Pro now too with the active noise canceling. So check those out if you want to still enjoy the noise canceling. I get these because they're a little bit of a better fit for me around the city as well well as travel, but uh, these have been just a huge game changer for me. Uh, my battery bank is a few generations old right now and technically discontinued. It's the Anchor PowerCore Slim 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, this battery pack specifically or its newer replacements are According to the Alterlight community on Reddit, the best capacity per weight and size over all of the different battery banks that you can buy. So Anchor always does a really great job with their accessories and this 10,000 milliamp hour battery gets me through pretty much all of my trips really well. I charge it before I leave and I charge it before I head home and it always gives me plenty of juice. Putting that away, that's it for the tech items. Like I had mentioned before, sometimes if you're going on a longer term trip or maybe you follow that sort of digital nomad lifestyle where you might live a couple of months in one area and travel to the next, it will sometimes make sense to pack out a little bit heavier than you normally would for a weekend trip. That brings me to the next item and that is the packed coffee kit. Uh, this is another new packed item that came out this year. And although I would say this is far too bulky for a short weekend trip, if you're someone that's going somewhere for a several week period and you won't have access to good coffee, uh, this thing is amazing. It has a built-in tea kettle and pour over system to be able to make really good coffee wherever you're headed. Um, I've tested this around the house throughout this year because we haven't been traveling too much, obviously. And um, I absolutely love it, the design is really well thought out, it's beautiful, and uh, this would be a really great option for, like I said, someone that might follow that digital nomad lifestyle, or if you travel on a really long-term basis, you know, weeks or months at a time for a single destination, definitely worth the trade-off to carry something a little bit heavier and have really good quality coffee when you get there. Just a couple of last items on this side, and starting up first, we have packing cubes. Uh, specifically, these are new packing cubes from Packed, and you don't necessarily need to get the Packed ones specifically, but they are very high quality. I've used cheaper packing cubes and more expensive packing cubes, and they all technically get the job done, but you know, you get a little bit better materials and just a lot nicer of a feel and user experience getting some of the higher quality ones. The Packed ones are definitely that. Um, I really like these because they are solid. The material has a really nice soft feel, so it's not overly crunchy and it's kind of tough to tell from the video, but these are going to be transparent so you get a good idea of what's inside without having to open everything up. Uh, the packed set is $59 and comes with two small and two large packing cubes along with a stuff sack for all four that can be used as an optional fifth packing cube. These things have been really great so far in my initial testing. I am a huge fan and advocate of packing cubes. I fought them for a long time just because I didn't want the extra steps involved with packing cubes, but once you try it, you definitely won't go back. They make your packing experience much more pleasant, but more so when you're traveling around, if you're someone like me, like I've talked about in the past, I do a lot of couch surfing or jumping from home to home. A lot of my trips are headed back to Michigan to visit family and friends. So I'm doing a lot of packing up and loading out and packing back up again, you know, day after day, a lot of that back and forth. Having a really good organized pack makes all the difference in just the pleasantries of traveling light. 
Next up though, we have almost a category. Um, this here is a merino wool t-shirt from Outlier. And I am definitely a big convert of using and utilizing merino wool fabrics for travel gear. I got this t-shirt from Outlier almost a year and a half ago now, along with their travel pants, which are also amazing. But this has really converted me into a big time fan of merino wool. I've also really started to dive into outdoor backpacking and camping camping and again the benefits of wool just go on and on and on you know merino wool is obviously a lot higher quality but you get something that's really nice and soft and on top of reducing wrinkles merino wool fabrics do much better than any other fabrics in reducing smell after multiple wears so when you're out traveling you get to pack a lot less and be able to rewear things a lot more frequently without them stinking or smelling and i'm someone that usually will be able to get a day or two out of a regular cotton or polyester t-shirt. You can easily get double or triple that wear with a merino t-shirt without it really starting to smell or stink. I think you'll be perfectly great using any merino from any brand. I would love to hear if you have any recommendations down below. This is something I am newly diving into as of this year, but this outlier t-shirt has been absolutely incredible. They sell this with their travel pants in a travel pack set. Definitely recommend that you check that out if you're not familiar with Outlier. Really high quality stuff, but yeah, this is more of a category for merino wool in any form, fashion, or brand. That wraps up all of my favorite travel essentials for this year. Hopefully it won't be too long before we're all out and traveling again. Huge thanks to Pact for sponsoring today's video, and regardless of the sponsorship, all of the Pact items I mentioned would have made it into this list. They're not seeing this video, beforehand, they didn't have any say in what I talked about. Check out their holiday sale while it's still going on. I have an extra discount down below, so check that out. Let me know what your favorite travel items are as well down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And one last thing before we sign off here, this will be my final video for 2020. So hopefully everyone has an excellent holiday season. Thank you all so much for all of the support this year. It's been awesome. Have an excellent rest of your holiday season and I'll see everybody next year.